Well, folks, believe it or not, I'm actually running out of content to film. But I do have a few other fans to film. I know I got one more ceiling fan to film out of my stash. And I got these bad boys. Start with the start getting to the big pedestals that I have. Um, <clears throat> this one here is my most recent acquisition. And I'll get into this one in a second. But I know I got that fan to film, which is a 24-inch Hunter R&M exhaust fan. We got a 24-inch Deal Air Master pedestal there. 21-inch ILG there. That's parts of another exhaust fan as well. It's a Tafco brand, which I couldn't film. Sure, why not? We got this 90s 30-inch Dayton that I've had forever. 20 inch freshy and a 20 inch roto beam which is a custom pedestal fan and I got another 21 inch ILG sitting there that's a fast go exhaust fan 220 volt there and an 18 inch ILG so yeah those are fan videos that I will be recording here shortly that's parts to another roto beam that I have that the motor's fried on once again, I'll get into more of that in a minute. But this video here is, brought, is more for this. This is a 24-inch Emerson pedestal fan. Coming on to the badge here on the back. This is a model K60TB. And the fan is from... On the bottom there, 1954. Two speed, and yeah, she's rough. Like I said, this was my most recent acquisition, as recent as this past weekend. And yeah, made 1954 and put through hell ever since. The buildup you see on the blades is actually not dust. This fan was used in a paint shop, so that's going to be fun to remove. There's a bunch of other crap that came off the guard themselves. Like I said, it's filthy. Yeah. Goes to show you what builds up on this thing. These blades shouldn't be that hard to strip. They, this stuff's coming off in chunks. Like that. This blade is stamped aluminum. Aluminum hub. Two speed PSC motor. The fan, of course, is not fully extended. I'm not sure how tall it would be, probably at least 10 feet tall. This stand stands at the lowest height, just a little over six feet tall. The cord's not original, that's been replaced and needs to be replaced again. Unfortunately, the lever layer switch in the back is since broken. They put this wire there for operation this little job here definitely not the best and there would have been a decorative cover that would have covered all this and that's missing as well unfortunately but that's no real big deal so let's go and see what she does that's the front let's go ahead and get it started Good view so I can not get blasted by wind. And yes, despite its looks, it runs good. It's a bit off balance, likely because of the chunks that are built up on the blade. In fact, it's starting to throw some of that shit off, so I might as well turn it down a little bit. Let it coast. 
The bearings make a little bit of noise. I know they're ball bearing. And I believe they have grease fittings, so that's nice. So we'll see how that goes once I get the fan taken apart. But yeah, it definitely needs to be restored. All the original paint's likely gone. I know it was in the Emerson brown bronze color. I'm not sure if the... I know the poles were chrome, I believe. The blade was polished aluminum. So, yeah. We'll see how well I can... It's definitely not high on the priority list to be fully restored. I might take this thing apart and clean it. Get all the crap off the blades. All the other overspray off the guards and such. Clean it up a little bit. And probably grease it so that it's in good shape. And I'll replace the cord while I'm at it as well. But later on then I'll look into fully restoring it. But it's not high on the list right now. So yeah. I know this model was available. They introduced this elephant ear style blade probably in the mid 40s. I know it replaced the skinnier blade with the same hub. And then in the mid 50s, I believe a couple years after this fan was made, they changed the blade design to a steel blade with D shaped wings instead of this aluminum elephant ear style wing. So, yeah, there we go, folks. There was the 24 inch Emerson K60 TB pedestal fan from 1954. So stay tuned, more to come with one of these big pedestal fans. I'll show them off here, probably I'll do one or two this week. I gotta clean up the fresh in there before I film it. And I'll do an update on this after I get it cleaned up as well. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Stay cool. Take care. Peace.